it's been good, it's been successful, uh, but that it's now evolving and uh, people coming in and saying, can I just come and work here? Uh, I'd like to go. I'd like to be a, an artist. I don't. I don't. Nobody talk. Nobody sees my work. Nobody shows my work. Can I come and Can I come and work in your space? That's what it says. This is what this is about. It's not about making money. It's about okay. This is what I can. I can. I can help you to do that. I have a responsibility to share what I've learned and what I've got with other people. In public, set up to help people who maybe don't have the opportunity to go to art school who are interested in making art, they can come in, use the space, it's a massive space, so they can make really big work um, and get advice from Sandy, who's a practicing artist, uh, and sort of evolve their own practice. And my name's John Jack, uh, from the Gorbals. Uh, I walked by the project one day and I saw the flats was the, the main topic for the project, and I've lived in high-story flats all my life. I made an exhibition of high-rise flats of Glasgow shown in Dusseldorf last summer. What came out of that was that nobody in Glasgow actually saw them uh, and I thought that was a shame because people who did see them in the making in the studio have always got a lot to talk about, the social history, the community aspect and that's really where the idea formulated from is to actually make a series of paintings in a bit highly visible space in the town centre. So public response has been lively and energetic. As soon as you come in, Sandy made, Sandy made me feel right at home, you know, he gave me, he's given me an opportunity to, to, to do some art work that other people can appreciate. Well, he's helped me look at things differently. We supported artists uh, for 25 years nearly, no? Yeah. Yes. 20, 24, 24 years ago, yeah? yeah. Well, I said that I just wanted to do something. I was interested in the musicians and the artists. Mm -hmm. I needed to do something. I mean, as you describe what you're doing, it's not your, it's not charity work. But it's, what is it? Well, I don't know what it is. I mean, I, mean, I don't know. It's, it's a business charity. In, I don't know. What would you call it? I don't know. I mean, I I know personally from uh, my experience there as one of the first artists that. Uh, the benefit that I had on the careers of my contemporaries at that time to have this free studio in London uh, recently after graduating was an amazing sort of like uh, amazing thing. Everybody wants something back, whatever. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't want anything back. I mean, I only, the only thing which I get back is that I'm having a good time. Oh, That's my personal best. reward, yeah. That's mm -hmm. how it works. Yeah. The overall reward of, is seeing the the dynamic created by bringing a whole lot of different people from different backgrounds together in one space with one common goal and that's uh, making art. He's working away, which, which is sort of informal and he doesn't put up any barrier between himself and who's coming in. It sort of gives me a new perspective to my own work, especially when it's so different from my own studio work. The students can see me operating as an artist, as a professional artist, dealing with my work, selling my work, uh, talking about product, making a product. All I can do is like, hopefully take the weight off the shoulders of art schools a little bit by offering an, almost like an annex where people can come and maybe work with me for for a class or, or even for a period of time? Um, well, I'm a third year student at Glasgow School of Art and Sammy's been teaching some life drawing classes there and so um, he came and invited us down to come here on Saturdays when he's been hitting and here with the public. I really think it's helped so much because I mean I made this piece in two days and there was no way I could have done this before. It is pretty much life changing because coming up for the last like few months in college I was scared about what I'm going to do next and where I'm going to go and this opportunity has just changed my whole view. Working with Sandy just makes me want to try. Uh, they're looking at my work, they're commenting on my work, how do you mix that, how does it, uh, sort of really, really basic sort of hands-on sort, of, uh, sort of techniques and advice. So in Tina's case it's not so much that she's been uh, working with me, uh, we have a, a, sort of a, a tutorial contact. During the last weeks there's been three or four uh, debut shows by artists. Just gave them the space for the weekend. Uh, so when the cafe was open and when the, uh, the band was playing, 
they had their work up and yeah, it's been really good. It's quite unusual for someone out of art school to have a solo show a year after art school, so it's quite a big deal for me. It's quite exciting. If you worked in this space, you could see pretty much after a few days what 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 it's really this life after art school thing. Is that this is what it is uh, in a kind of in a public version. But in future uh, of this space, I haven't done the last couple of months, is that, uh, to launch it as a an art studio and a teaching facility in the city centre. Uh, in September I plan to do a, a portrait painting class as the first uh, of in public as a, as a permanent sustainable enterprise. It just evolves and it grows as it goes along.